वेटनरी फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डॉक्टर वेट चैनल डॉक्टर पी आर पटेल प्रोफेसर हेड वेटनरी मेडिसिन हियर वी डिस्कस हियर द बोवाइन कीटोसिस पार्ट सेवन प्रिवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ बोवाइन कीटोसिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेटाबॉलिक डिजीज i will discuss here prevention and control of ketosis certain established facts developed by scientist are mentioned here point wise point 1 is prevention of ketosis is by intensive nutrition management we have already seen that hypoglycemia causes ketosis so it can be prevented by intensive nutrition management especially carbohydrate and energy nutrition second point adequate calorie intake at early lactation at early lactation there is increasing milk production so demand of glucose is also more so provide adequate calorie energy for carbohydrate during early lactation Point three critical criteria is maintaining and promoting feed intake. So this is important criteria. The feed is maintained and promoted intake as the milk production increases. Point number four, rapid and sustained increase in feed and energy consumption after calving. You know that after calving there is increasing milk production. so farmer has to increase feed and energy consumption after calving and this feed and energy consumption after calving it must be sustained because of increasing milk production point number 5 of prevention and control ration should be appropriately high in non fiber carbohydrate concentration see in the ration we are providing carbohydrate concentration both fiber and non fiber but here when there is more demand of glucose we should increase non fiber carbohydrate concentration to provide more energy if you provide more fiber carbohydrate then again there is energy deficiency point number 5 feeding management an important point feeding management to provide maximum energy intake and providing sufficient precursor of glucose during first 10 weeks of lactation so during first 10 weeks of lactation you know that milk production is more and it is increasing going to the peak production so feeding management should be in such a way that we should provide maximum energy intake at the same time precursors of glucose are also fed extra along with the feed point number 6 to prevent negative energy balance to prevent the hypoglycemia plan the feeding for energy intake by sufficient quantity of hay and grains and this can be measured according to the body weight the milk production and fat percentage of the milk so feeding plan must be balanced in energy balance in intake and outtake point number 8 the energy balance of an animal should be calculated based on total digestible nutrition the total digestible nutrient of intake of food is calculated 
and total digestible nutrient of output that is body weight and milk is also to be calculated and both TDN of intake of food must be balanced with TDN of TDN of output. Point number nine: Cows should not be overfed during gestation period and at calf. When the cow has more fat, when there is hypoglycemia, there is more fat mobilization, and that also working as a helping factor for the ketosis development. Point number ten: It is frequently told a universal truth. Cow should not be starved at calf because there is heavy demand of glucose, lactose due to milk production. So, if there is slight starvation at this period, may precipitate ketosis. Point number eleven: During early lactation, cow should be under standard ration. now the scientist have prepared standard ration standard formula how much should be the carbohydrate protein fat all these are calculated by scientist and standard formula is also available that should be fed during the early lactation such standard ration point number 12 it is observed that ionophore compound especially monoxin hydrochloride may be added in diet when there is high milk production because this ionophore compound increases propionate level propionic acid propionic acid is glucogenic so it also help in prevention of ketosis point number 13 Protein should not exceed 16 to 18 percent. We are already seeing in the etiology that high protein diet also causes ketosis. It provides ketotic amino acids. So protein should not exceed 16 to 18 percent. Point number 14: Exercise is a must in intensive rearing. So during exercise there is energy utilization. Muscle is active, so metabolism is active. Liver is active, all body system is active. So exercise is a must, and it helps in prevention of the ketosis. Prophylactic feeding of certain feed additives. that also prevent ketosis this additives are niacin sodium propionate calcium propionate propionic glycol choline they increase the propionate or propionic acid it is glucogenic so it is help in this way point number 16 there should be sufficient vitamin a and b12 in ration vitamin a and vitamin b12 plays an important role in glucose metabolism and health of the liver at the same time health of the whole body there must be sufficient mineral especially cobalt copper phosphorus in the ration this also help in metabolism of carbohydrate helps of ruminal microflora and health of the animal point number 16 addition of coarsely ground maize in the ration this maize is readily digestible and easily digested it immediately form the propionic acid and glucose and thus help 
in the rapid increase of glucose level of the blood. So such other carbohydrate can also be fed, which is readily digestible. Point number 19, very important, starvation should not occur in pregnant and early lactating cows. The pregnant and early lactating cows both are requirement of the energy. During pregnancy, the fast developing growth of the fetus. In lactating cows, increasing milk production and high milk production. So there is constant demand of carbohydrates. Even a starvation of one or two days may precipitate ketosis. The important cow side quick test for the detection of ketosis is Rothra's test. So application of regularly Rothra's test on milk and urine to detect the cases. So we can plan very easily. We can catch the subclinical ketosis. Most of the high producers are the marginal cases of the subclinical ketosis. If timely and proper treatment is given, they may not be converted into clinical ketosis, but there is a gain in milk production. Last point, very important, point number 21, routine estimation of ketone level of urine and milk. So detection of development of ketosis cases will help us in planning prevention of ketosis. Before the subclinical cases become the clinical, we can prevent it and we can regain the milk production immediately without any loss. Once the ketosis occurs, it is a problem. There is a cost of drug and other losses are there, decreased milk production. These losses are there. So to avoid these losses, there must be a routine estimation of ketone level of urine and milk. Friends, I have taken the ketosis disease in detail and not much detail also. But this is very much important. If I take in detail, it may take more videos. Please share this information to our veterinary friends to promote the channel. Please subscribe the channel. With this slide presentation, we conclude the ketosis. Thank you very much for observing this video.